Good morning, Kelloland. This is Kelloland on the go with all you need to know in news and weather as you start your weekend. We also have your boredom busters coming up. But first, our top story. People flying out of Sioux Falls say they're not concerned about airline safety in spite of today's 20th anniversary of 9-11. Airports across the country boosted security and staffing and screenings in the aftermath of the Twin Tower attacks. And frequent flyers we spoke with on Friday say they feel safe with all of the extra precautions in place. I'm a worrier, you know, by nature, so I would say I, I think about it a little bit, but for the most part, I wouldn't say it keeps us from doing anything. TSA says there's no credible threat concerning terror attacks on today's anniversary of 9-11. Regardless, the security staff at Sioux Falls Regional Airport says they'll be as vigilant as ever while screening passengers this weekend. High school and middle school students in Canton watched Friday as a freedom flag rose on campus. The elements of the flag represent different facets of 9-11. Its five blocks on the left stand for the Pentagon as well as freedoms protected. The red stripes in the middle stand for the World Trade Center towers and the lives lost there. Organizers of the flag raising say this event is all about educating the students of today who have no recollection of an event that transformed a world that they never knew. Well, 9-11 isn't the only anniversary on the minds of people in Sioux Falls. Two years ago Friday, three tornadoes tore through the southern part of the city, destroying businesses along 41st Street, including the Pizza Ranch. The damage was so bad it took 15 months to rebuild and to reopen. But thanks to the insurance, they were able to keep every employee on the payroll. Yeah, we had uh, 105 employees, uh, and we were able to retain all of them and pay them for the, the 15 months that we were closed. Co-owner Mike Ferris and his general manager were about to close up for the night when the tornado hit. Surveillance video captured some of those terrifying moments. Incredibly, no one was hurt or killed. Let's get our first look at the forecast now with meteorologist Adam Butt in the Storm Center. Good morning, Adam. Good morning, Perry, and good morning, everybody. Any outdoor ceremonies on this day of remembrance should be able to be good to go without any major hitches on the weather side of things, but we are going to be dealing with some smoke in the atmosphere, not to mention maybe a nice weighted shower or two in the morning. To Gregory we go as we kick things off with the American flag front and center on this September 11th. We'll then head downtown 63 and a very gray 63 at that between the cloud cover. And again, that smoke I mentioned before, northerly breeze at 7 miles per hour. 64, your number for winter and Yankton. 66 at the Capitol and in Phillip Aberdeen and Sisseton, 60 apiece. 61, Rapid City, but 55 in Spencer and 57 as you head toward Buffalo. Winds are generally light out of the north by northeast, but picking up a little bit on the back edge of a cold front, especially in northern portions of Kelloland. And while there isn't much rain in the forecast today, we do have several chances on the way in the extended outlook. We'll talk about that coming up. All right. Thank you very much, Adam. Well, the Sidewalk Arts Festival features more than 220 vendor booths as part of the region's largest one-day arts festival. The free event takes place from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m outside the Washington Pavilion in downtown Sioux Falls. The festival is a fundraiser for the Pavilion's Visual Arts Center. Celebrate Sioux Falls German heritage at German Fest in Fawick Park. The free festival goes from 1 to 10 p.m. and includes a day of music and authentic German food. 30 newly built homes are on display this weekend and next weekend as part of the Fall Parade of Homes. The homes are located in Sioux Falls, Brandon, and T. The hours are from 1 to 5. All of the homes are free to see, except for the feature home, which costs $5 to tour, with that money raised going to the Sioux Empire Home Builders Care Foundation. The final concert of the season for Levitt at the Falls in downtown Sioux Falls features the Lowdown Brass Band. The Levitt Lawn opens at 6 o'clock. The music starts at 6.30. Wildwater West, west of Sioux Falls, is hosting a foreign car and motorcycle show from noon to 6. Admission is free. The show includes music, food, and prizes. Participants of the Sioux Falls Firefighters Association Step Up for Heroes event at the Sioux Falls Arena will climb 110 steps to honor the lives lost in the World Trade Center attack 20 years ago today. An opening ceremony is at 9 a.m. The Memorial Stair Climb and Junior Firefighter Obstacle Course begins at 10 a.m. 
Country Apple Orchard in Harrisburg is hosting First Responder Weekend, with all first responders getting a $10 discount entry to today's Fall Festival. Admission for everyone else is $13. It's free for kids under 35 inches tall. Today's hours are from 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. The President's Bowl at Howardwood Field in Sioux Falls features Washington High School taking on O'Gorman at 1 o'clock. That game is followed by Roosevelt playing Brandon Valley at 5 p.m. Both games will be live streamed right here on Kelloland.com. Adam? Satellite and radar are keeping an eye on a cold front that's going to gradually move down to the south. And that's been where we've seen a couple of isolated showers this morning in the pier area west of Redfield as well. But anything that has come around has been rather light in nature with only a few hundredths of an inch of rainfall. Otherwise, as I said earlier, any outdoor ceremonies today should be good to go without any significant issues on the weather side of things. Just be aware that uh, the air quality is going to be on the lower side of things due to all the smoke in the atmosphere. That is going to get uh, basically taken out of here, for lack of better terms, as this cold front moves further down to the south and flushes out that smoke. But it's also going to bring in two things. One, cooler temperatures. And two, another opportunity for showers and a couple of thunderstorms tonight. And then again on Sunday. Sunday's opportunity will be mainly for southern and southeastern Kelloland later in the afternoon. But we could also see some thunderstorms pop up out west. A few of those storms could be strong to severe in intensity. That risk for strong to severe thunderstorms then moves eastward as we head into Monday with another low pressure system moving in. So we'll have to keep an eye on that, especially East River. But this is the risk for your day on Sunday. Shaded in green, that's our marginal risk of a 1 out of 5. Gusty winds and hail are going to be the primary concerns with any storm that does pop up. And again, that moves to the east with a marginal risk for basically everybody east river. Again, wind and hail are the main concerns. All along the way, we'll have a higher likelihood for above average temperatures. The deeper the shade of red, the higher the likelihood to see those above average temperatures, regardless of whether it's by a few degrees or more. Highs today climbing into the 70s to the north on the back edge of that cold front, 80s to near 90 at times near and south of the I-90 corridor. Overnight lows will fall into the low 50s along the North Dakota border, upper 50s to low 60s again near and south of I-90. Your seven-day forecast has a little bit of rain in place on Sunday, some thunderstorms possible on Monday. That's our best chance for rain in the Sioux Falls area before we have a few more straggling thunderstorms early Tuesday and then another late week opportunity for some rainfall. No widespread uh, rain events, but some spotty showers and storms almost each day during the next work and school week. Have a great day, everybody, as we remember the 20th anniversary of 9-11. For more local news, weather and sports, you can always head on over to Kelloland.com.